Hammer Gang. We always hit the nail on the head. So check this out, my Miami Hurricane fans, my JSU fans, my HBCU fans. Deion Sanders, the talk of town, the talk of the whole FCS. Well, first of all, before we get into it, the FCS playoffs starts today, North Dakota State versus Eastern Washington. I will be live streaming that game at 3.30. Come watch. Now, back to Deion Sanders. So, you know, A&M, A&M, Alabama A&M, of course, they beat Deion and, you know, Jackson State. And the head coach after the press conference or whatever, he had a lot to say. So basically, a lot of these coaches have a lot to say. Another one recently, Dawson Odoms. Straight out of, uh, well, he just got hired at Norfolk State. So he's also talking about, basically in his press conference, he's like, you know, thanks to the AD of Norfolk State for hiring him and not just going out to get another big name or a gimmicky coach for actually believing in him and other coaches with the same passion. Shots fired? What y'all think? Now, when it comes to the A&M coach, um, what's his name? Um, Carnell, Carnell Maynard. He plain up said if Dion would have called him, he wouldn't have gave him no um, advice or nothing. He's the enemy or whatever, this and that. Dion's, Dion was talking about it in a press conference after that game, how, you know, his guys will be coming in in the fall and, you know, things will be a lot different. Well, this guy was taking shots. He was fired, basically saying he's got guys coming in too. They got five stars. Dion ain't the only one that can get five stars and this, that, and that. You know, they, a lot of these guys are salty, plain out salty. They think Dion is just a gimmick. But let's look at um, what the impact of Deion Sanders being at JSU have on HBCUs so far televised ESPN. How many FCS football games this spring have you seen on ESPN? I've seen Jackson State because of Deion. I don't see any other ones. They're all on ESPN um, Plus, ESPN Three. Those those don't even show on TV. Trust me, I know, cause I live stream those games and I put it on the screen on YouTube for for you guys to watch. So we watch it together. So I know. Now, Eddie George, Tennessee State. I'm expecting some. Not necessarily the Dion effect, because Dion is on a whole different level when it comes to following, when it comes to, you know, people just knowing who he are and just want to watch him because the guy is entertaining. I don't know the factor that will, you know, be uh, Eddie George. But I do know more coaches probably are on the way. I'm talking about high-profile football players. High-profile guys like Ed Reed and Ray Lewis. Some of the biggest names to ever touch the NFL, college football, you name it. So, Dion, a lot of coaches got a lot to say. Most of the guys that's been coaching for years and don't have that kind of profile that he does. But we'll see how it turned out this fall, man. Like, share, subscribe. Dion's going to keep it coming. Just got a new transfer running back, you know, straight out of um, Liberty. Anyways, man, like, share, subscribe, and I'm out.